Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to build my simple secret chest area. Now, the one thing I love about this thing is how compact it is. So we just come over here, click the button. Our secret chest area opens up. We also got some ender chest in here, you know, a furnace, an anvil. The only reason I put that stuff in there is because you can't, technically you can't have chests right next to each other. So I just added a few other things in here. You don't have to do that. Next, we're gonna do is just click the button again and it closes and it's hidden. Now, of course, you don't want your button right here, but if you don't care, you can keep the button there. But I'll show you where the input is so you can hide your button so let's just start building this thing all it is is three wide guys that's why i said i love how compact it is it is literally only three wide so we're going to be building this whole entire one right here you can make it smaller if you want but we're going to be building the whole entire thing so for this build we're going to need to dig down at least two and we're going to need a 17 by three space and like i said you can make it smaller if you want you can make it larger if you want to so what we're going to need for this build is some blocks to put our redstone down on a handful of redstone dust 15 repeaters 29 sticky pistons but like i said if you want to make it smaller then you don't need that many sticky pistons i'm using it for the entire thing we're also going to need a button some blocks of choice i'm going to be using quartz and you know some uh quartz stairs as well because you know if you're using birch wood you're going to use birch wood stairs if you're using spruce wood you're going to use spruce wood stairs if you're using netherrack you're going to use netherrack stairs it's just whatever keeps it hidden whatever keeps it nice and clean and hidden so once you got your 17 by three spacing, we're gonna come to the bottom left-hand side and we're gonna count over 14 sticky pistons. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now your input's gonna be on the right-hand side. So if you wanna make the thing smaller, the sticky pistons start from the right-hand side. So, you know, if you wanna make it only four long, then these sticky pistons have to go. So let's just put those back and then we'll start doing redstone. So next what we're gonna do is go up one block and then put in blocks of choice. Go up one, delete this one, and then put blocks of choice all along the tops of our sticky pistons. This right here is part of our wall. So this right here is this part on the wall, down here, that part. So this right here is your floor. Of course, this is your floor. <laughs> Next, what we're gonna do is put some upside down stairs on top of all of these blocks. So what I like to do is just come up one right here and then put some upside down stairs right here. They don't have to be upside down, but I just like having them upside down because I don't know, my, my brain's weird. I know the creation's there. So <laughs> it's just weird. So they don't have to be upside down, but I'm making mine upside down. So just put some upside down stairs right along the tops of our blocks we just put in like that. Now, the reason why that has to be upside down stairs too is so you can open up the chest. If it's a normal block, you won't be able to open up those chests. Next, what we're going to do is put repeaters going into all these bottom sticky pistons on the inside. We already know there's 14 repeat, uh, sticky pistons there, so we need 14 repeaters. And make sure they're all on one tick. Do not tick any of them. Do not tick any of them. Make sure they're all on one tick or it will not work. Next, we're going to put some blocks right behind them. And put dust all along these blocks. And then right above these repeaters, we got to put some blocks of choice. So take out your quartz or whatever you're using and then put some blocks right above our repeaters. This is where our chests will be going. So your chest will be st sitting on top of these blocks. Next, we're going to do is put some blocks of choice right above the redstone dust. And before we move on, okay, this is the front right here. We're looking at the front right here. Here's our wall. And then, you know, here's our, our flooring. Let me just put a flooring in real quick so you guys don't get confused of where the flooring is. So here's our flooring. So on the right hand side, this block right back here that we just put in, we put in these big lines right here, this block right here, delete it and put a upside down stair here. You'll find out why in later on. We're actually gonna be getting to it pretty soon. So right where we just put that upside down stair with this weird graphical glitch, which you won't be able to see since there's gonna be a chest here, we're gonna put some sticky pistons all along the tops of these facing inwards towards our wall. So it looks something like that. Next, what we're gonna do is put some blocks right above our sticky pistons. And we're gonna put dust along all the tops of these blocks. Now we're gonna now we're gonna know why this stair has to be here. Now the reason why this stair has to be here is so we can go up a block from our dust and put more dust right here. See how it stays connected? If this was a normal block right here, it would disconnect these two. We don't want this happening. That's why we put a upside down stair here so they stay connected. And then up here from the top, we're gonna to come down a block and put dust here. And then from the top, we're gonna to come down one more block. So it looks something like this, kind of like they're connecting together. And then we're gonna put a repeater right here on one tick delay. Then behind the repeater, we're gonna put a sticky piston facing upwards with a block on top of it. This will create a monostable circuit. And this right here is our input. So if we put dust here, or you know, dust here, or dust here, it will activate. So if I put a button right here and click it, it opens, I click it again, 
it closes. So my, on my creation right here, I just have the button right here, right here in the front. You don't, if you don't care about it being a secret and you just want the button right here, there you guys go. That's how you build it. The whole thing's done. So literally let's just take out some chests just to give you an idea of what's going on here. So, you know, put some chests in. There we go. Click the button. It's hidden. Click the button again. It's open. And then, you know, you're going to have to fill in the side so you can't see any of the uh, redstone down on the side. So go to the sides on each side and just fill this in. There we go. Now, I don't know how high your ceilings are in your house. If it's only too high, then you're done. But let's say you have a higher ceiling. You know, of course, you're going to want to go up more blocks with your ceiling. But that's it, guys. You're done. That's it. You're completely done. Click the button. And like I said, if you want to hide your button, here's your input over here. This sticky piston's your input. So literally, you know, if I want my button to go all the way over here for some unknown reason <laughs> on this little tiny line, click the button over here. It closes. Click the button again. It opens up very easy, guys. So that's how you build my simple secret chest area. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe to stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Ah. Peace.